Do you know what jalebi does to blood sugar levels? I'm scared to find out, but let's do it. Today I'm having 100 grams of freshly made jalebi. This should be about 375 calories. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 36 mg increase. I thought it'll touch 50. But still, this is the highest blood sugar spike I have seen so far in this series. And this series included some heavyweights like gajak, chikki and moong dal ka halwa. And did you notice the area under the curve? The red dots. They show that my blood sugar levels remained high for a very long time. About 3 hours. This is in stark contrast to for example when I had one katori gajar ka halwa. That had increased my blood sugar levels by 24 mg. Lesser than this. Plus, if you see the area under the curve, the red dots, they are much lesser compared to when I had jalebi. This does make sense because the main ingredient in jalebi is maida and maida has a very high glycemic index. Whereas the main ingredient in gajar ka halwa is gajar and gajar has a low glycemic index. Overall, the main learning seems to be that while all desserts have a lot of sugar in them, the best is to choose a dessert where the main ingredient is not maida.